Hi everybody, Nam here, and today we're going to be doing Magic with Star Wars CCG, also known as Star Wars Customizable Card Game. Uh, this is one of my favorite card games, not just from childhood, but still one of my favorite card games today. And today I want to show you a magical card trick effect that uses a bunch of bounty hunters. So here what we've got is IG-88 with Riot Gun, Punishing 1, uh, the pilot, Dengar Pilot's Punishing one, and then Boba Fett. So the thing is, these are bounty hunters. They'll take on jobs that are pretty unsavory, and you know they're not quite like necessarily liked by the Imperial Empire. But you know they still try and kind of do things so that they can still get employed and whatnot. But when authority comes around, like if there's some biker scout troopers around, they pretty much um, they don't want to kill them, but they don't want to really get messed up in them either. So. Anyway, um, so what we're going to have and try and do is actually, um, one, two, three, we're going to go ahead and place these out, okay, and the biker scout troopers are going to try and capture the bounty hunters because they're still not um, the best for them. So let's say the three biker scout troopers descend on the first bounty hunter here. Believe it or not, the bounty hunter can still get out on top of a dangerous situation and IG-88 has shot himself uh, out of the situation with his riot gun and he's okay so he was able to to get out of there without killing any biker scout troopers. So now the biker scout troopers are all going to descend on this second bounty hunter. And what we're going to do is uh, find out that our second bounty hunter, in this case it's Boba Fett, Boba Fett, very accomplished bounty hunter, can get himself out of trouble in all sorts of different situations, is also fine. And the biker scout troopers actually decide, hey, maybe jumping on top of them isn't the best thing to do every time. So in this case, they decide to try and surround the bounty hunter. And believe it or not, the third bounty hunter, in this case it's Dengar, also hopefully pretty resourceful because he was able to escape and get on top of the situation as well, and basically without any sort of issues. Now, after three failed attempts at trying to get three different bounty hunters, maybe they decide, hey, instead of going for a bounty hunter, let's go for their ship, because that's going to be their avenue of escape, right? Well, what they didn't realize was that Dengar, the pilot of Punishing One, was actually super, super great at carefully planning ahead of time, and Punishing One actually swooped in to pick up all of the bounty hunters before the biker scout troopers got there. And now Punishing One was nowhere to be found because it is already up in orbit with all of the bounty hunters on it. Punishing One has IG-88, Dengar piloting with Boba Fett, and they happen to leave all three biker scout troopers in the dust. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.